familiar with these. Paul Fees will deliver the Mountain Man toast. And Patty Limerick will deliver the New Western History toast. <laughs> so if you have not heard these, this, this is really, this is kind of like an initiation into a secret fraternal order here. So you guys are sworn to secrecy after this. So Dr. Fees. I guess I don't have a big enough voice for this. <laughs> we got to get it on C-SPAN. <laughs> Repeat after me, please. Hmm? Here's to the child what come afore. And here's to the pilgrims what come on. And here's to the pilgrims what come on. May your packs be full of plume. May your packs be full of plume. And your trails be free of grizz. Your trails be free of grizz. And fat buffler in the pot. And fat buffler in the pot. Wah! Ladies and gentlemen, if I might have your, um, I don't need, really need your attention for this, but I need, I need something from you, which will be just good nature. That's what I need from you is your good nature. So uh, Sam Arnold, who wrote that toast, you did leave out the adverb. Sam Arnold would always say, repeat lustily after me. So that's important. So, so and there are various gestures that you're to make, which uh, some of us make. So I, this became very controversial. What you just heard, that toast became very controversial for reasons I can't fully recreate for you. <laughs> and I wrote, uh, I wrote a couple of toasts that I hope would change the atmosphere around that high tension, which is so preposterous that there would be high tension, but there was. So we're now going to do, first we're going to do the academic toast. Um, and then we will do the New West toast. So, okay, so um, take your glass and bring it in your right hand to your right shoulder, and then I then repeat after me, but also follow my gestures, okay? This is the academic toast about the changing field of Western history, okay? Here's, excuse me, here's to the old birds what's come afore. Here's to the old birds what's come afore. And here's to the sensitive young Turks what's come arter. <laughs> May your, uh, may your books be filled with multicultural sensitivity. <laughs> and your colleagues free of pettiness. <laughs> and a fat merit raise in your pot. <laughs> Tenure! And then, uh, you may think this, this travail is over, but th now there's the, um, there's the Old West, New West toast, okay? Okay, same thing, uh, repeat lustily, or less if you prefer, I'm with your choice. Really, what we saw about the Eiffel Tower, that might come to our minds as we. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so um, uh, glass back at the shoulder there. Okay, New West toast. Here's to the subsidized water projects what's come afore. Here's to the subsidized water projects what's come afore. And here's to the telecommuters and second homeowners what's come arter. Here's to the telecommuters and second homeowners what's come arter. May your suburban highways be free of gridlock. May your suburban highways be free of gridlock. And your stakeholder meetings filled with conflict mediators. <laughs> And a grande latte in your pot. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, and <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My, 
Uh, not very many people here would remember, but uh, my, my late husband, my first husband, Jeff Limerick, was the co-composer of that, and some of you folks would remember him. Then, I just want to say, some of you have the cutest little batons, dearest little things. They're little pencils, and they're, they're batons that I've been handing on. And so, if you did not get a baton, and you know that you deserve one, because you contributed to the Renaissance in Western American history, which I said was coming, and then it did arrive. So, if you did not get a baton, I have run short of batons. So just give me your address, and a baton will come in the mail, and that will just be a delight for you and your family members and every, your neighbors, for that matter. So, so thank you for putting up with this. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> thank you, Patty and Paul. I think in the, the, that really reflects the, the spirit of re reconciliation here. <laughs> so um, just want to call up two individuals that we want to recognize, and I'm sorry, three individuals that we want to recognize, and we do have some gifts for you. So um, this summer, we recruited an intern, Brianna Roberts, and we got her something that I can't find. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. It would help if I could read. So Brianna, could you please come up here? So. We lured Brianna here after she had graduated from the University of Wyoming, and we said it's gonna be a great summer, and what's gonna make it really great is towards the end of your internship, we have this symposium. <laughs> and we want you to help us get through this. So officially, Brianna's last day is today. So we're, we're gonna try and get her back. <laughs> so we're, we're working on it. But anyway, officially, officially, you know how I follow rules, so keep that in mind. Officially, this is her last day, but anyway, Brianna, we wanted to give you a copy of Steve's book, and we wanted to thank you for your hard work this summer and everything you did to help out on the symposium. <laughs> Brianna will now lead us in the intern toast. <laughs> so I also want to, to call up Naoma Tate. <laughs> One of the, uh, the proudest moments of my career here at the center was to be able to identify myself as the Tate Endowed Chair of Western History. <laughs> Naoma's uh, generosity has certainly contributed to, to events like this, and um, I think we're beginning to see the results of a lot of this scholarship. I also want to call up Dean Dellenbach, As, as noted throughout the, the proceedings, the Dellenbach Foundation was an early supporter of the papers of William F. Cody. They matched the state appropriation and they have continued to contribute to the success of the papers. Many of the individuals here that we're presenting today, the young emerging scholars, were funded through your generosity and we greatly appreciate that, Dean. And I didn't know he was going to be here, and I'm glad he is, but Chairman Collier, would you please come to the front? <laughs> Baron Collier established the center for Western American Studies a few years ago, and one of the strongest components that we still continue here at the Center of the West is the fellowship program. Show of hands, how many people in this room received a fellowship either through CWAS or a later fellowship through the Buffalo Bill Center of the West? So.
the, the investment in these young scholars, as you see, has been tremendous. And the center is really a groundbreaking institution for promulgating new research in not only Cody studies, but the field of Western American studies. And it's really through the generosity of these three people. One of the results of the papers of William F. Cody that we're particularly proud of is our new series with the University of Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma Press. And uh, we have the two volumes that recently came out that have been signed by the authors and dedicated to these two beautiful and intelligent women that I'm so lucky to work with. So Dean. Baron, uh, your, yours is in the mail. <laughs> Has it been colored yet? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I uh, ran out of uh, pins, but we found some crayons. It looks great. You'll love it. You'll love it. Anyway, um, as I noted, there is a very important person who's not here with us this evening, but I think he is here in spirit. And Bob realized something that unites all of us. We may differ on our interpretations when it comes to William F. Cody, and Western American studies. We may represent different academic fields. Some of us are public historians, some of us are historians, some of us work in academia, some of us look at cultural anthropology or art history, the list goes on and on. We're a very diverse group. But Bob realized the one thing that unites all of us is this passion for learning and a passion for sharing. So I know Bob is here looking upon us, smiling right now. He's very proud of each and every one of you that are in this room today. So thank you and uh, enjoy your supper and we will start with Paul Hutton's program here at, what time is it? I would just like to say, Bob had an ability in seeing potential in people and in a program such as this. And when we first met with Maggie Scarlett and uh, Kurt Graham, and he asked for our support, Bob immediately said yes, because he could see what was going to happen to the Center of the West and to all of you as you participated together in an academic and a really intellectual Prod, uh, a project all surrounded by Buffalo Bill. And this is the culmination of what his dream was. So thank you all for being part of it.